Hello, you beautiful and amazing and gorgeous tear lilies around the world. So we're doing a next pick a card reading of what is your next relationship going to bring like? Now this could be singles or anyone who's out of relationship, you know, like already broken up with someone. Oh, I don't want to say this. It hurts my heart sometimes. So, so we have pile one, which is my evil eye bracelet protection and this is like my fairy to oracle deck and we got pile two which is like the yin yang bracelet and this is my like horoscope moonology deck i also already pull out your cards from these decks as well and we'll do also be doing your five card tarot reading as well so i'm gonna start off with pile one So I asked my logic and ego side to step to my left and only my left. I asked for clear mind, clear communication, clear clarity, clear choice of judgment, and clear energies as well. Only positive. If you feel there's any negative, send it back to center 10 times full. If you feel there's anyone's prayers or anyone's downfall, ill intentions, black magic, all kinds of harm, malicious or negative energy, send it back to center 10,000 times full. I also ask for divine protection and spiritual protection as well. I ask for all the archangels of Pi 1 and 2's. Oops, sorry. Archangel, guides, ancestors, and masters for any communication, guidance, advice, or messages that needs to be said. So blessed be, so much be. Amen, amen, amen. So now we're going to go on to Pi 1. And I think for some reason, in my last video, I probably forgot to say Pi 3. <laughs> So let's see what we have for pile one. Healing. I'm gonna probably, I hope this doesn't fall though. That's the thing though. I hope this does not fall. Hmm. Healing. Memories. Entitlement. Ambition. this to side a bit try to move this so you guys can see because I don't want you guys not to see choice voice loyalty enchantment survival wit Rite of passage, theft, duty, a duty to fulfill. No wonder I feel like entitlement and duty are the same thing though. Intimacy, sacrifice. There's going to be a lot of compromise in this relationship that you have next pile ones though. So let's see. Healing from the past that has caused you great heartbreak, a loss of emotions. But I feel like in this time, you have moved on and you have let go of every single thing. Like it's already been done, done. But I feel like you still have memories, so. But I want to say this now. Don't take what you got from your past and put it into the, the relationship that's coming in now. Move from it, learn from it, and really do pile one stuff. Just like begin a new like chapter in your life. Don't allow the past to take control of you. Because you're entitled to being loved. You're entitled to new love. You're entitled to a lot of self-love. You're entitled. You're an empress and emperor. You are the one who will make a choice for your own love. But I am seeing this person's gonna be very ambitious, like goal-wise, like very goal-oriented. Like they have goals for their life. And they will also help you if you don't know what like goals that you want to make for yourself. They will help you make that like choice for yourself. 
that they want you to like really focus on yourself. They want you to like have your own ambitions and really be entitled to them because I feel like they really want you to speak their like your words, your truth. Be very verbal about how you feel towards things. If you don't like this or that, tell them. They don't want you to hide it, even if it hurts, but at least you'd be blunt about it, though. They want to be loyal to your hearts. And they want you guys to be loyal towards them as well. I'm getting like, you both will be taking the wheel of your relationship. You both will really be like, you got a lot of things coming because there's so much magic with the magical like moments within this connection though. They don't want you to be afraid. And they don't want you to overwork yourself too though. They don't want you to be like so tired. Like where you feel like it's a survival to the fittest and it's like at your wits ends and all that stuff. You're like, I'm at my wits. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of compromise in this connection. I also am getting a lot of intimacy. So if you have a love language, for me, it's like quality time. And like, you know, physical touch. At least express yourself. Express who you are towards them. Because there's a strong sense of wanting to be loyal, honest, want to be, wanting to be truthful. But also, you guys have your own duties to fulfill towards yourself and even towards your significant other, whether you are a wife or like a girlfriend or a boyfriend or forever who like y'all friendship wise and all that stuff, you know, y'all single life. I feel like you guys will fulfill those like loving relationships within each other. Because you really are making your own passage. You really are making your own trip, your own journey towards everything that you want for yourself. But I'm also getting like, you feel like someone has taken too much from you in the past though. That's why you're healing and that's why you have a lot of memories. And that's why you're like really trying to survive in who you are to make that choice and sacrifice. But there's compromise here. They're going to help you to resolve the things that are within you. Now, they're not going to like say, here's what you're going to do. You're going to do this for yourself, but they're going to be there to support. Yep, they're going to be there to support you. I feel like for you, Pile Ones, you're going to have a lot of support. You're going to have a lot of realizations, and you're going to have a lot of love. I want to say this now because they care about you. They, bear, they care about who you are. And they care about everything about you. They love you. And they want you to start to believe in yourself. To start to like, imp if you want to improve your life, then go ahead. This is your choice though. There's going to be a lot of improvements here. That's all I have though for you, pal. One stuff. Now we're gonna go to onto your like five card tarot. So it is that you need to say towards pile one, see the truth, and only truth. What is the next relationship gonna be like? What is the next relationship going to be like? Ooh, they want to come ride the waves with you. Two more cards, please. One more card, please. Page of Wands. I do feel 
feel like they really wanted to like come in towards you in a sense though they want to like come riding in towards you they want to travel towards you Yeah, you guys could be cross countries or long distance. I'm getting like there's a lot of crossroads here. But they want to come travel towards you. They want to show you the effort that they're going to put within this relationship. Your next relationship that you're going to have. Now, you may have like fears that you probably will not live up to their expectations. Or they won't live up to yours. But I am seeing that there's a chance of... A lot of love here. You may be keeping things to yourself. Like you don't want to say too much towards this person. You don't want to be vulnerable towards this person. But I am seeing that this person is going to balance yourself out. Like temperance here. A balance within your like spirituality, practicality. Your feminine and masculine sort of energy. They want to have a new beginning with you. And they also want to show you that there is a lot of passion in you. But they are very ambitious on their goals and their career-wise. They want to show you that they want to allow you to come into their life. Where you feel like you are a part of their life. Where you are like a part of their plan. Because they want to like work this with you. They want to like cooperate, collaborate with you. They want to show you that they want something more with you. Like something stable though, pile ones. But you're unsure. Or the five of cups here. You're unsure on whether you want this person or not. You're really unsure. I do see here that you're going to make a choice for yourself. Where there's literally so much love to gain from this. There's so much abundances and like beautifulness to gain from this. But make the choice for yourself. Because I did feel like this is really going to be a new person. Or... If it's someone you know, then this is going to be like new love for you. Really, though. They have very strong feelings for you, though. And they're not going to give up. To show you your true value, to your true worth, your true potential. They really do love you here. So now we go on to pile two. So yes, I'm going to be shoving this. Pile two, pile two. Emotions are running high. A new romantic cycle begins. A time to give rather than take. Or to be vice versa, a time to take the rather than give. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. Guys, I feel like I might sneeze all of a sudden. Nope, I'm good. Adjustments are required. Bring love into the relationship. Surrender to the divine. Look at the bigger picture. Step out of your comfort zone. Prosperity lies ahead. Take time to breathe out everything. Take time to breathe out. Hold your vision. Your commitment is being tested. Balance spirituality and practicality. And also, a win-win outcome is forecasted. So we have signs here. So we have Libra. Virgo, Cancerian, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Taurus as well. So let me see. What is your pile two's next relationship going to be like? 
what is Tyler Two's next relationship going to be like? A new beginning approaches you, a new chapter to your story, which will lead to a happy ending. Something will lead to long term, and something will lead to marriage. So there's more to this than what meets the eye. I feel like you guys give so much out there. Like you really do like give. Give, give, give. And for some of you, some of you, it's like take, take, take. Now, for those who take shall give, and for those who give shall take. So this is going to be like a balance within yourself where it's like you want to balance out to like what you take for yourself and what you give for yourself. To share those emotions, to share yourself with who you want to be with, to accept and allow yourself to feel more loved and like flourishing in it. Like you're manifesting a lot of greatness though. Now, when they say adjustments are requ required, there's gonna be a lot of changes that you are gonna be making pile twos. So there's gonna be a very strong sense of something's gonna be changing within yourself, within the connection that you make, a very strong sense because this will lead to like you stepping out of your comfort zone, looking at the bigger picture. I'm getting a sense that this person is going to like break you out of like your habits or anything that's like, if you you just want to stay inside, they're going to try to help you to see the world for what it is, like to go out there and adventure, hiking, maybe even boat riding. A lot of traveling here though. For there's so much love here. They're like, they have a strong emotional fulfillment, physical fulfillment, and even spiritual and mental fulfillment as well. I feel like that they're going to show you that there's love here, that you will have a happy ending. But they are, this, the universe wants you to like surrender yourself towards them, to allow this love to come in. Because I'm seeing that there's a lot of things that you are going to be figuring out. There's a lot of sense of like someone who wants to come in strong and become strong for you. You can support on this person as they have support. They're going to be support on you. But hold your vision. Your commitment is being tested. I feel like something that's going to be within you is going to start to come out. And like, things are going to be tested, like tested the waters and all that stuff. But right now they're saying take time to like, take it slow. And when they mean take time to breathe out, breathe one in, then breathe on out to become more calm. Because they don't want you to say anything that you're going to regret. So breathe it in. Allow your, the thoughts to flow in towards you to feel what you really want to say. Because really things are going to be tested here though. And I feel like people are going to test you as well. I feel like someone's really going to be testing you. That's not a good sense though. But it's like your life lesson though. Or some situation is going to happen where like you're going to be tested in a way though. But they want you to know that what you have manifested for yourself, what you really have wanted for yourself is now coming in. This is going to bring you a lot of happiness though. Now let's see on what messages they have for you for Tara. Five cards, please, or no matter how many cards you want. Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. Four of Cups.
Three of Swords in a vertical direction. Queen of Wands, and I'm going to clarify the Chariot. We also have the Page of Wands here as well. Ooh, I feel like for some of you, they might really come in at a time where you're just like actually healed, where you're like, now like ready to just focus on yourself i feel like for you pile two this is going to be like out of the blue like you weren't really expecting any of this within your life but i do see a strong sense that they really do feel like you're their lover you guys were made for each other this like true love but you may not see it though i feel like you're just gonna like try to like ignore it in a way though, try and focus on yourself, but because you're healing from a heartbreak, but I am seeing that they're going to come in strong. With the chariot card being here, they're going to come in strong. I do see here that you're going to be in this, like, you have a lot of dignity for yourself. You have, like, a very strong sense of very much being, like, kind and caring towards yourself and your energy as well. So I feel like you may not focus on this, but they will be there for you. They will support you and they also will guide you. They have love here for you though. Or they could be coming out of a situation where it's been tough on them too. Mm -hmm. So now we go on to the review of Pile 1 and Pile 2. So let's see. Any messages, memories you said accompanying you? I feel like there's going to be some sort of light or clarity for you, Pile Ones, though. I feel like you're going to be more beautiful and more open with yourself. Like you're going to be ready for this. This new love that's coming in. A promise of something that's wanting to like show themselves towards you. They figure it out and they're gonna take it off. Ooh, for some of them, they could be taking off their mask. Or you could be doing that too, but I'm getting the sense that someone's gonna be very open. How to They wanted to travel. They probably, this is like a long distance relationship. Maybe they're overseas. I do feel like that they're gonna fly towards you. Or really, if they live a long distance, they're gonna travel by car, train, any sort of like trans transition that they're gonna make. Yeah, transition. They're gonna come in. They're gonna prove themselves towards you though. They're gonna like really allow you to see that there's someone out there who's gonna make that effort towards you and you don't have to do a thing. Someone who's really strong and independent and who is very goal and oriented as for this one too, power one, power one, power two. I hope you guys have a lovely and amazing day though. Also like, comment, and subscribe down below and yeah, bye, peace out, have a great evening, day, morning, noon or night.